I guess I have some explaining to do. A lot of you probably saw my first and second videos of 30 Day Notice. 30 Day Notice was supposed to be a, a 30 day series uh, leading up to me moving out of the Upper West Side um, and moving to our new place in Jersey. I guess, as I usually do, I kind of like burnt myself out just in the first two days between all the shooting and editing and getting stressed out about the planning. So here we are, uh, a little more than 30 days later after episode two, but I'm finally starting to get back into the swing of things. I mean, I still have been vlogging on and off. It's just, I haven't really had any like coherent episodes that I felt were worthy of uploading. And I'm sitting in fire ants. See all these little ants? Also right now, uh, I'm with Morgan, my girlfriend's family. Uh, we're on vacation in Daytona, in Florida. So it's been super nice here. I flew in on Monday. And it was my first time on a plane. And they picked me up from the airport. We've just been hanging out since. Uh, just kind of relaxing and hanging out on this beautiful beach. I have this problem where I tend to dive into things where I kind of just go full speed ahead and I burn myself out in little to no time and then I just get exhausted and I end up quitting. I wanted this to be different. So even though it's 30 days later, I still want this to be I want this to become a regular thing, and I guess that was my hope with episodes one and two. Episodes one and two were two days in a row, and there were two days that I had off from work, so I had lots of time to shoot and edit and plan and everything else. So it was a great opportunity for me to film, but I also set my bar way too high. So in doing that, it kind of got discouraging when day three hit, and people asked where the episode was and kind of expected a video to be done, as I promised. I, I promised 30 days of straight uploads and day two I fell short. So I'm hoping this is the start of a more consistent upload and I hope that I can, you know, actually follow through on the promises that I'm making for this because this is something that's really important to me. And also, this, these videos are a great way for me to you know, keep my friends and family in touch with what I'm doing and keep everyone updated with kind of what's going on in my life. And it also kind of holds me accountable to the dreams and ideas that I have for myself. Like I said, that, that giving 200% and then getting tired of everything and disappointed with myself and falling short has kind of always been my downfall. Also, it's so hard for me to create content that I'm proud of because it's so easy to look at what other people are doing and other daily vloggers and say, well, if they can do it, why can't I? And there's a lot of reasons why I can't. If you're working 30 to 40 hours a week, that kind of takes away a lot of your time from being able to plan content, upload, edit, and everything else. And I'm not trying to make excuses for myself, I'm just kind of trying to explain why these videos have been the way they are. I'm really excited, and I think I've finally come to that point where I'm tired of disappointing myself. I've always been a dreamer, whether it was wanting to become a musician or whatever I, I wanted to do that week. I'm not sure if a lot of you saw, but I just shot a music video with this awesome band in Brooklyn called Walker Hall. Um, they've got a show coming up on August 12th at the Bitter End in New York City. Doors open at 9. When it came down to it, I had a time crunch and I had a limit and I had to, I had to follow through on these promises. Not only that I made to myself, but to these other people who kind of were relying on me for, for the music video. So I ended up putting a 30 second promo together. I'll try to link it down there. I'd really appreciate it if you guys wanted to watch it. I feel like this video is gonna be the start of something that's a lot more consistent. Oh, I've actually also been up since like eight o'clock last night, just looking at videos and researching and organizing everything so that I have no excuses anymore. I'm all set. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to put up at least one video a week. And that's kinda, 
this is gonna help me hold myself accountable for that. And also, I feel like you guys are gonna help me hold myself accountable as well. You know, there, I did get a lot of positive feedback about episodes one and two, and there were also a bunch of people that were like, why are you doing this? And I, I kind of started to question myself a little bit, and I was like, you know what, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I guess at the end of the day, I just want to, I want to be able to sit back and be proud of something, and genuinely be proud of it. Not just, yeah, I, I put in half effort and I did okay and I got by because that's kind of how I've been my whole life. In high school, I never did homework, I never studied, I never did any of that, but I made it by. And I, I guess that's true in a lot of aspects of my life. But this is something where I really want to start giving 100% all the time and just really dedicating myself to what I want to do. Anyway, we're in Daytona, and in a couple hours we're going to be leaving and driving to Charleston, which I've never been there before, and I don't know if uh, any of Morgan's family has been there either. I don't think they have, but I'm really excited for that, and uh, that's probably a lot of what this episode is going to be. For now, I'm going to go have another cup of coffee, and probably go relax and wake everybody up since I've been up all night. So let's go see how everybody else is doing. It's so cool. Good morning. Do you see all the dolphins? All oh, those dolphins? There you go. Oh, oh. There he is. Yeah. It's so cool. I've never actually seen dolphins before. Uh, I don't know how well you guys could see them in the video, but there's a bunch of dolphins, probably like Actually, I don't know how far they are from shore, but they're pretty close. I'm on cup number four of coffee so far. There's something just so nice about waking up before the sun comes up. I feel like you get the most out of your day. I don't know, it's just so nice. Five cups of coffee. Why do I do this to myself? So I figured since we had a few hours to kill, Morgan's sister Felicia and I decided to come out here. Uh, she built that really cool Lego pirate ship thing. It only took her a couple hours, so that's like really cool. But we're gonna try to grab some some photos of it. What? I just finished editing all of the footage that I shot up to this point. I'm so tired. I'm just so tired. Normally, it's easier for me to stay awake than it is. Normally, it's easier for me to stay awake than it is for me to, like, fall asleep for a couple hours and then wake up at a certain point. But I'm kind of regretting staying up all night now. We're set to leave at 2, so I've got a couple hours until I can sleep in the car. sitting in the lobby of this absolutely gorgeous hotel. I don't know exactly what the name of it is. Right now I'm just trying to kind of wrap up this whole f project from today. I am beat. Like an hour of sleep in the last 36 hours, I guess. I didn't end up falling asleep in the car. I turned 20 in about an hour, so it's pretty fun. 
I hope you guys know how much I appreciate all of you watching these videos. Uh, I have a great time making them and I hope that you enjoy watching them. But thank you, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to... I know there are lots of other things that you could be doing with your time right now, but thank you so much. I know I haven't really uploaded that much, but just the few people that have tuned in, you guys make it worth it. And I just really hope that I can continue making these videos for you because I, I genuinely enjoy making them. I am beat. I really need to go to sleep. If you do enjoy these videos, please, if you don't mind, leave a like and a comment. And if you want to take a minute to subscribe, I would really, really appreciate that as well. As for right now, have a great night. Thank you again.